Hi, it's Vicky and Ginger here with another Christmas project. This is what I will be making today. It's a holiday Christmas box. But just because the video is very long, grab your coffee, sit back and enjoy! This is the configuration box by Tim Holtz that I will be working on. It has a frame with an acetate lid which I won't be using. So you can um, see different uh, ways to place your little boxes inside. And uh, this is a configuration box that I had uh, in my stash for uh, quite some time. So I will uh, go ahead and link you to more different sizes that are available in the market right now. I already have a box of uh, little things that I want to put inside my configuration box, such as this tree and uh, this pine cone. So I am going to make sure that everything fits nicely in my boxes and uh, I will make uh, bigger spaces by removing some of the boxes that I will not be needing. Now that I'm happy with the placement of all those little boxes, I'm taking a photo. So when I will remove all those little boxes, I know how to put them back. I will be using this pattern paper by Tim Holtz and uh, I am going to cover up the inside of uh, the boxes. I am using my ruler to make all the measurements for the inside as well as the side panels and I am going to use my trimmer to cut out all the little pieces. I will not cover up the top of uh, the box, you will see what I mean. Now I am going to stick all the pieces inside my box using a multimedium mat and uh, of course you can use any type of glue that you like. I am going to cover up the, the back and uh, all the three sides. I will not uh, bother with the top side of the box. I will uh, go ahead and uh, use some acrylic paint to color that later on. And here it is after covering all the bo little boxes. Now it doesn't take so much time as it looks because uh, there are only three different sizes of boxes. And uh, once you take the measurements, then it's easy to cut all your little pieces and stick them down. Now I have this bigger panel, which I am going to stick uh, on that side. But uh, first I need to make some holes. I want to use this mini lantern by Tim Holtz and uh, just because I want to hide uh, somehow the cable I need to make a hole so I'm using my pencil to mark where I want this uh, to be and I will be using my craft knife and uh, cut out uh, that hole. It doesn't have to be perfect because I will be hiding uh, that with uh, the lantern on top. Now that I have my hole, I need to make sure that everything is uh, working properly. So I'm going to put th through the um, cable and uh, I can see that uh, the lantern hides nicely that uh, little hole and everything is working perfectly. So I'm going to disassemble that and uh, I am going to use my pencil and make a mark at the back of the box because I need to make a hole there. So I'm going to use the same uh, exact process and with my craft knife I'm going to make the last hole. And again, once I have that hole there, I'm going to double check and uh, make sure that uh, the cable can pass through that uh, hole. Now everything looks to be working perfectly, so I'm going to put the boxes inside the big one again and uh, I am going to use my matte medium to stick uh, down that uh, side panel. Once that's there and to secure the boxes on their place, I am going to use my hot glue gun and stick everything down. To cover up the, the top edges of all my boxes, I will be using this uh, Tim Holtz uh, washi tape and um, I am going to make sure that I cover up everything that shows. Just because washi tape uh, doesn't stick too well and uh, to make sure that it will not um, peel off, I went all over that uh, at the end with my gel medium and this is going to make sure that it's nicely secured. Thank you. 
I won't be using the acetate for my lid just because I will be having uh, some elements that will stick out of the box. But I will use this frame because it gives a nice finished look to my project. So for that I just cover it up with uh, a gold acrylic paint and I'm also dabbing it with my sponge in uh, some areas inside the box just to bring everything together. For the parts that I didn't uh, cover with uh, pattern paper, I'm just covering them now with my brush and that uh, gold acrylic paint. Now the base of uh, my shadow box is pretty much finished. All that's left to do is to stick the frame on top using my glue gun. Now that the base of my shadow box is ready, all that's left to do is to start sticking uh, little elements here and there. I already have a box of uh, things that I want to stick inside and I am starting with that lantern which I really really love because it lights up and I also have this Christmas decoration which I am uh, cutting out uh, pieces out of it like the greenery and uh, the holy berries and I am going to stick them down with my glue gun to surround the lantern. Also when I was shopping for my Christmas decoration I got this uh, snow globe with the Santa inside and I made sure to be uh, as tiny as I could so it can fit in uh, this uh, tiny little box. I am also going to stick down this pine cone at the top corner of the box. And I have here a package of uh, Tim Holtz, these are the letter press and uh, they are actually wooden letters. I am going to uh, pick up the number 2 and 5 and I am going to apply some uh, gold acrylic paint on top and this is going to help highlight the letters as they are raised from uh, the block. Now I am going to color this uh, Christmas tree and I am uh, going to use forest moss distress stain. I don't have the spray on uh, this color so I am creating my own spray. I'm just uh, adding a little bit of this color on a spray bottle and I'm just going to spray all over the um, tree. Now the set that I got this tree from is uh, one by Tim Holtz that has uh, two uh, trees as well as one uh, wreath which I am going to use later on. I am also going to uh, use just a little bit of uh, gesso and I'm going to apply it with a dabber all over my tree just to add a little bit of snow. So now it's time to put everything together. I'm going to stick down the tree as well as uh, number 25. And uh, if you notice, I am using my glue gun for sticking down everything on this project. This uh, was uh, really quick for me and I didn't have to wait for uh, any type of glue to dry. This is a red flower from the Prima Flowers Victorian Christmas collection and I am going to stick it uh, at uh, the back of uh, number 25 and um, you can find the full list of all the supplies that I'm using today and every little bit and piece that I am sticking down just below the description area as well as on my blog. Now I have a bag of uh, gold uh, jingle bells and they are all in different sizes so I am going to use them throughout uh, the project and stick uh, some of them here and there. I am tying some uh, gold thread on some of them and I am going to stick them just next to my snow globe. I am going to stick uh, many many things on uh, each and every uh, little box because I wanted to have a full uh, shadow box so whoever sees it at the end uh, it will take uh, them quite a while to check out all the little details inside each uh, one of the boxes. Now I have uh, also colored uh, the red just like I did with my tree and I'm also adding a little bit of gesso to snow it and uh, now I'm uh, adding a sudden bow that I have made out of my uh, red ribbon and I'm going to stick it on one of the boxes. 
I also have an ephemera pack by Tim Holtz and this one is called Festive. I am going to use some of those ephemera pieces in uh, some of the boxes. So first of all, I'm uh, going to distress them with uh, my distressing. This is uh, the vintage photo and I am also bending uh, the paper just to make it a little bit more uh, dimensional and to stick it down I just because I don't want to stick it at uh, the very back of uh, the box I am using that uh, wooden cube which is for crafts so I am also going to uh, wrap them with a little bit of fabric to create my own little gifts and I'm also going to stick them in that same box And again here I'm using my wooden uh, uh, letterpress blocks. I am also treating them just like I did with number 25. So I have added uh, just a little bit of uh, gold acrylic paint on top and I am sticking them down with my hot glue gun. I have a collection of those uh, tiny little uh, bottles and I am actually going to use three of them. I'm going to add inside some uh, gold seed beads and to do so easily I have created a tiny little funnel out of uh, scrap paper. So I'm placing the cups on top and uh, I am also going to add uh, a few sayings on uh, the front of uh, the little uh, glasses by using these ribbons. And also once the ribbons are there, I am going to use my uh, dabber and I am going to apply just a little bit of uh, gesso all over those uh, tiny bottles.
These are metal tokens by Tim Holtz. They are Christmas themed and they have nice words on, uh, written on them, such as uh, Noel and uh, wishes and uh, things like that. So I am going to spread them and uh, stick them all around my boxes. So I am now doing uh, the finishing touches on my box. I have finished uh, all the little boxes and now I am using those brads uh, to add even more uh, sparkle and uh, interest on uh, different areas. So I am cutting out uh, those uh, legs with my Tim Holtz scissors and I am sticking them in uh, different areas using my hot glue gun. I am also going to use the smaller brads for uh, decorating my tree. When you create a project like this, it's so difficult to stop. You can go on adding things and decorating all those little boxes uh, forever. So anyway, I decided that it was enough. So I am bringing everything together by dabbing a little bit of uh, white gesso with my tabber on different uh, parts of uh, my boxes. This is going to create the illusion that everything has snow. And to finish off my project, I am going to add those metal feet at uh, the bottom of my project so it stands nicely. So that was the project for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to share this project on your social media with your friends, as well as leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure to do so because this is the way to tell me that you love my videos and you want to see more. If you want more inspiration, here is one more three-dimensional project that I did a while back, where I am creating another shadow box for Christmas. Thank you all for watching!